Central banks all across the globe have been assisting consumers and companies to survive the economic commotion for years. They reduced lending rates to assist consumers get through disaster after disaster. And to support drowning markets, they have been minting money and purchasing bonds to ease out the effect. But those same banks at this moment are deliberately making things more difficult for everyone dependent on them, be it the residential homeowners, small business owners or just a regular middle-class Canadian consumer. As per Tiff Macklem, the governor of Bank of Canada, some of this does feel a bit counterintuitive. He feels that some of these decisions being taken are unreasonable or contradictory for the major purpose of the economy overall that is to control inflation. The interest rates in Canada have been shot up six times so far, ever since the beginning of March, from 0.25% to 3.75%. And the Bank of Canada has already warned everyone that this not where they stop with the hiking. A little bit more of interest rate hikes are yet to come in future but they are unsure of how far this will go. The major purpose behind all this hiking process is to effectively control inflation that has reached its highest point in so many decades. Even though they are fully aware that increasing interest rates this way always leads to a deceleration in the economy, but it looks like there is no other way around. Therefore, Canadians are not only facing greater borrowing fees but also struggling to keep up with the rising cost of living. And this whole framework of rate hikes is further fueling the downturn in the economy. As per Macklem, the growth is going to be close to zero for the next few quarters, until about the middle of next year. As per him, the slowdown in economic activity should be short and not very deep. But it will indeed have an impact. What he means by this is that, the unemployment rate is going to go up. We're not talking about high unemployment rates that we've seen in past recessions, but it is going to go up, he said. Tiff Macklem says that he understands the feelings of Canadians and their frustration and helplessness. But this frustration is not just for the Canadian consumers. Macklem says he knows these rate hikes are making life harder for many Canadians. We don't want to make this more difficult than it has to be, he said. But at the same time, if we don't do enough, if we're half-hearted, Canadians are going to have to continue to endure the high inflation that is harming them every day. And that is the risk here. If the bank somehow puts a break on its rate hikes and then realizes there has been no positive effect on inflation, then it will be left with no other option to take even more aggressive steps to curb the situation. On the other hand, if it keeps exceeding its rate hikes beyond limit even after the inflation has been controlled in a sustainable way, then the Canadians will be suffering needlessly. Basically, the time and the amount of pressure required to get this thing right is getting smaller and smaller. On the flip side, as per an economist from the Centre for Future Works, the rates are being pushed too high too quickly by the central banks. They believe that whatever worked to tackle the inflation, back in 1970s and 1980s, could be used again to tackle today's inflation, assuming that the root cause and solution of this problem is the same. But the situation is completely different altogether. You see in the 1970s, real wages were rising along with prices. But today, it's the opposite. In the 1970s, corporate profits were falling, but today, corporate profits have grown to record high levels. So as per Stanford, the economist at Canadian Future Works th this is the exact opposite of what we experienced in the 1970s. And pulling out a 50-year-old recipe and applying it again to today's situation is absolutely inappropriate. As per him the central bank should be pausing its never-ending rate hikes and see if inflation really does need more of a push. To summarize this whole scenario, it looks like we should brace ourselves in and prepare for the worst, even though claims are being made that the upcoming recession would not be that deadly. But honestly, nobody can be 100% sure about what the future holds for us. Even though the impact would not be like the 2008 to 2009 crisis but surely there will be an impact enough to shaken up the foundation of our economy. Alright guys, if you do like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments below on what else do you think is contributing to the upcoming recession and what you guys are currently doing to tackle it. And on a side note, if you or any of your friends or relatives are looking for a mortgage financing then make sure to check out this link here. We provide financing for all sorts of mortgage needs, be it first time home purchasing, refinancing or any other need. See you again with another interesting topic. Till then, peace.